Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to attempt to remake um, Chanel No. 5, the classic perfume, probably one of the best selling perfumes of all time. Um, I've already started by adding three drops of Neroli essential oil. Then I'm going to add a couple of drops of linalol or linalool. And guys, all my aroma chemicals, essential oils, are all diluted already, so there's no need for feedback saying you need to dilute them. They are diluted. This is um, aldehyde C12 lauric. Um, it's like a soapy, citrusy type um, smell. This is 10% in ethanol. Um, and Chanel number no. five is very, very aldehydic. Like when you first smell the perfume, you instantly you'll smell aldehyde C11. Personally, that's that's the first note that comes to to mind is C11. But for now, we're adding one drop of aldehyde C12 lauric. Then we're adding one drop of aldehyde C12 MNA. Not prepared at all, but there you go. So one drop. And this is diluted to 1%. I find this really um, overpowering, even at 10%. So maybe two actually, because it's at 1%. Then we're going to add aldehyde C10. Again, this is another one that I found really um, pungent, really overbearing. So this is at 10% as well. I've only added one drop of this. Next, I've got aldehyde C11. Again, this is at 10%. I'll add a couple of drops because I actually like this one. Then we're going to get into the uh, the sweet nuts. That's in channel number five. And I'm going to start by adding cumarin. Add a couple of drops of this. Then one of my favourites, which is ethyl vanillin, which is a strong vanilla um, scent. I'll add one drop. I do usually actually add um, the standard vanillin to a Chanel number no. five um, perfume, but I thought I'd try something different. So I've decided to add a full vanillin. Then we've got alpha iron on, which gives it a nice violet type scent. I'll add two drops of this, quite like this one. Then we've got eugenol, which smells like clove. I'll add one drop of this because it's quite strong. But Chanel number no. five perfumes all pretty much always have eugenol in them. Um, just give it a nice sort of a strong woody scent. See, it's taking place effect already. 
this. And I've got patchouli essential oil. Patchouli, um, eugenol, and I think it's ethylene brassylate, or like a staple in Chanel perfumes. Then what can I add? Let's see. I'll add one drop of rose essential oil. Just one drop though. Because I do find it very, very overbearing. Next, I've got bergamot. I'll add five drops of this. Then we need some musk in there, so I'm going to add musk ketone replacer. This is quite thick, so it may take a bit of time coming out. You may find that it needs a couple of taps on the bottle. This is quite a thick liquid. Right, we'll leave Muscatone out for now just because I don't have the time for it. I'll add it later. But yeah, I've added, I'm going to add three drops of Muscatone. Okay, that's embarrassing. Okay, we'll, um, next, I'm adding Ambretolide, which has the smell of Ambret seeds. I'm going to add three, two drops. Too much. Next, I've got sandal mysore. which is obviously sandalwood. Again, it is quite a thick liquid, so bear with me whilst it comes out. That, oh, we have lift off. There you go. Next, we've got Hedion which is the jasmine replacement. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I'm doing my videos in drops as opposed to in weight, um, purely because my scale isn't working at the moment, but also because I don't want to get too complicated with it. This is just um, a basic sort of hobby video, so Maybe in the future I'll do some um, videos where I'm using actual scale. I do have one, it's just not working. So I added four drops of Hedion. Next I'm going to add three drops of phenyl ethyl alcohol, which is a sweet rose type. Finally, I've got Ylang Ylang essential oil. Ylang Ylang, or whatever you want to call it. And I'll add a couple of drops of this. Quite like this one. And there you go. That's the Chanel, my Chanel perfume. Chanel number no. five. Um, I'm going to add some perfumers alcohol to it. And then I'll add it to a bottle. And there it is. 
Okay, so I've added the perfume as alcohol. I've added about 20 mils. Um, give it a bit of a spill about. Oh. So it is beginning to um, smell something like Chanel No. 5. Obviously I'm not going to know the exact um, materials that I used in the, the actual perfume, but this is quite nice. Um, as I said, it's quite an aldehydic perfume. So yeah, it's uh, taking effect. I'm going to bottle this and let it age for at least a month. And then I'll hopefully do another video of an update. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, etc. Thank you. Bye.